Coconut was just another dirty, injured stray cat on the unforgiving streets of Boston. Joni's heart ached for the battered feline, so she decided to take him off the streets, if only temporarily. Her initial plan was to have him neutered and then released back into the wild, but as soon as she cradled Coconut in her arms, she realized she couldn't let him go. At first, Coconut's condition seemed dire. Daily treatments were necessary to address his physical wounds, but his emotional scars ran deep. He was wild and unpredictable, making even simple tasks like feeding him an ordeal. His feral instincts were evident in the way he hissed at anyone who dared approach, and his gaze remained permanently fixed on the ground, as if he were haunted by his past. Joni wasn't alone in her mission to rescue Coconut. Nelson, a friend with a heart as big as hers, lent a helping hand. It took a long time before he calmed down a bit, Nelson recounted. I was able to clean his cage and put food in, but he still hissed whenever anyone walked by, and he never lifted his head, always looking down. But then, one day, something changed. Nelson leaned in to tend to Coconut, and to their astonishment, the cat allowed a brief touch on his head. It was just a fleeting moment, a crack in the emotional armor that had shielded Coconut for so long, but it was a glimmer of hope. As time went on, Coconut's progress was slow but steady. They discovered a breakthrough when Nelson observed. And then Nelson realized that Coconut was also deaf. He could only see shadows. Understanding that Coconut's aggression had been born out of fear and confusion due to his deafness, they adapted their approach. They communicated with him through gentle gestures and body language, slowly earning his trust. They used sign language, teaching him commands that he could perceive through sight rather than sound. No wonder he was so nasty, Nelson mused. He was afraid and no one knows what he went through. Months turned into a year, and then more. Despite the many obstacles, Joni and Nelson never gave up on Coconut. Then, one remarkable day, a moment of pure magic occurred. Coconut, the once wild and fierce stray, allowed Joni to touch his head again. This time for more than just a couple of seconds. It was a gesture of trust, a symbol of the bond that had grown between them.